This is A-Game, an all-natural herbal dietary supplement formulated exclusively for men. Our proprietary blend was designed with one goal in mind, to improve your overall health, rejuvenating your vitality, energy, strength, and libido. Want to be at your peak performance in everything you do? Then bring your A-Game. Fast-acting, long-lasting, with no side effects. Welcome back, fellas. This is another five minute fire wash report. I want to say much love to your subscribers. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell for future videos. And you see the title of the video. It says uh, Spiritual Polarity. What's in between your shoulder blades? Paraphrasing. Now, what brought this about was me just going around random, picking up some things before getting prepared for the next day. And I was sitting there thinking, we always abuse this term, and I, I do stress the word abuse. We always abuse the term putting a battery in the person's back. Now, that can be good or bad, but I'm going to go into that a little further. See, what we need to understand as men, whenever we come into this space or anywhere we go, we always have a program. And, and let's look into the definition of program. It's a noun a set of related measures or activities with a particular long-term aim, an extensive program of reforms, a series of coded software instructions to control the operation of a computer. Now, this is supposed to be our brain housing group or supercomputer. Now it's subject to corruption or it's always subject to be upgraded when used right. See, so it goes back into actions, words, and intent but I'll get into that in a minute. Now, there's three things that came into my mind while I was in there walking around picking up some things uh, before I came back home and started doing this video. So you gotta ask yourself, number one, what are your masculine directives? See, as men naturally from birth is on the job training, but as we grow, we start finding out about these directives that drive us, aside from being able to oppose environment, which I tend to say often. This is what we look at. Naturally, we're about provision, problem solving, protection, procreation, order, leadership, selflessness, polygamy, we'll get into that much later, strength and creating culture. So when we think about that, how does that apply to things in this space? Originally, those directives were leading us to a path of constructive uh, creativity, brotherhood, actually est establishing agency. But then again, that goes against the narrative of certain individuals or certain groups. So they had to throw a monkey wrench in certain things. Then if you have that going on, you start asking yourself, how is it that certain people do what they do? And we'll show you. This leads to question number two. What is your primary power source? See, we talk about that. We talk about the 10 life values here. When it comes to here, you work on the internal and move on to the external. Or you lost value system. Now I'll get to that in a second. Now, when you're talking about the 10 life value system, by design, it's momentum, proper momentum, able to navigate obstacles a lot easier. But see, the most important thing here, if you want to call it the... Uh, engine here or the alternator you're talking about the spiritual knowing who you are what you are what you're about why you're here if you don't figure that out all of this goes to shit all of it that's what it will lead to this see by design 
When have you known to see an upside down pyramid? You looked in Egypt, you looked in uh, Indonesia and Mexico, but that's a whole other conversation. It's not built to do this. See, when you see this in position, one of a few songs pop up, face down, ass up, you know the rest of the song. By design, it's subject to corruption. Because while you're burying your head in the sand, that's why you have no truth, no care, no loving support, no standards, no peace, no fair structure, no discipline, loyalty, limits, no detachment. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because we ask this question here, what is your power source? When you're powered by the lost value system, thing is, you never know if that battery is fully charged or not. And when it is charged, it will send you in the wrong way. You'll be shutting down in the most inopportune times, leaving yourself to not just corruption, but to destruction. When you're powered by the 10 life values, this is something that'll keep you going. This will help you endure adversity. See, the thing is, when you have veterans and civilian men alike, when they are unable to understand what their masculine directives are, and they're running on the wrong power source, what happens to be the lost value system. This is where you get brothers who want to commit the S word, or they'll do depraved acts to where they start demeaning themselves, committed to self-abasing behaviors and activities. This is where you get guys who are who become water bearers and bone carriers. Those little imps that keep a lot of bullshit going, that you can send them off. And they'll be happy to go do something as long as they feel like they're fulfilling a, 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 a purpose. But one of the most important questions you got to ask yourself, too, is who are the people you trust to be in charge of your maintenance, uploads, execution and disposal? So when I speak on this, when it comes to your maintenance, you're talking about the lost value system. There are people who keep you going to execute their directives, to start some shit, to be cannon fired. Rather level you want to call it. They'll always upload you with misinformation, which will lead you to glitchy behavior. Then the execution. See, the thing is they leave out details, which means you will have piss poor execution, which if you are put in the right situation at the wrong time, you're subject to execution, which leads to your disposal. How will, you, how will you be remember, remembered? Will you just be tossing a scrap heap like, you know what? This person's broke or broke in. Go get another one. Now, where have you heard that before? Now, we're talking about the 10 life values side. When you have people you trust for your maintenance, with your program, which happens to be your vision. You have individuals who will keep you on point in your vision. When you stray off, when you're getting close to the ledge, you'll have people like, no, get back on the right path. This is not for you. They will breathe life into you because they will say, serve as an emergency power source to remind you not just who you are, why you're here, and what you have done, that because you, you have much more work to do. The execution. There will be people that you trust with your vision that will help you see through it to the finished product of your vision. See, small people talk about people. Great people talk about concepts. Powerful people talk about ideas. And this is the thing. There are some people that you can trust in your vision that will help add weight to your vision, something that you didn't see before. Now, I know I fucked that phrase up before, but pass that up. And thing is, in your disposal, 
This is what we talk about legacy. How will you be remembered? Now, granted, in this window that we call life, we know it's finite, be it leadership positions, be it this space, or even the connections we know with certain people, ultimately to our light, our light, when we pass on or transcend to the great beyond. What did you pass on when you did your execution to make sure that that program continues, that is upgraded better than you made it? And that you taught these individuals when you pass this program on to them, see through it that they execute far better than you did. When it comes to your disposal, it won't be, it'll be sad, it'll be felt but not much more than your influence. In a sense, that is the secret of immortality. This is what keep other people going, the spirit of your greatness that will fuel them like, you know what? They had a great old thing, but I can add to this. I, I have the weight of their last name or my association to this idea and carry it forward in which we can sit there and gen generate not just a spirituality and eventually promote wealth till we can pass on to the next generation. More than just excuses, dander and debt. So I want to say in closing, you gotta ask yourselves these three things. What are your masculine directives? What drives you? What keeps you on point? When you're in a place, why are you there? Are you a content creator or a conflict creator? Are you a man who's looking to get his shit together? Or are you just a maggle? Are you a guy who's trying to be the hood version of Johnny Appleseed? Or are you a man who's, who is fucking fertile with purpose, empowerment, greatness? Then you look at your primary power source. It's not just those two separate value systems who do you have around you who are the people that get you going in the right way or the wrong way you talk about getting charged up what do you feed off on positivity or negativity and then the last question who are the people you trust to be in charge of your maintenance uploads execution and disposal this means you have to vet your circle be it your friendships your family, people you fuck around with, everyone in general. That's why you execute the four T's. Are they worth the trouble, the toll, the threat? Excuse me. <laughs> the time, toll, trouble, and threat. Those four T's. That way you can execute the four Ps correctly. We're talking about maximum efficiency. And this is the time where you have to really assess yourself because everyone keeps on saying winter is coming, but you notice on your smartphones, on your computers and everything like every else you deal with, you all such to updates. And maybe your narratives that you're spitting out are outdated, which I'll definitely get into in another video very soon. So this is something to think about. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell for future videos. And mad love to the A-Game family. Shout out to A-Game Nation. As always, never allow your comfort zone to become your coffin. And simplify to all my fellow veterans, especially my Marines. Marine Corps birthday's coming up. So if you're feeling bad about it, uh, you can eat your dick with cheese. So <laughs> that's me being ass but you know what it is hope you guys uh have a great day glad to uh speak to you guys again and uh be safe <laughs>